Okay, this is a few things from what happens next. What happens next started, I think, at Science on Stage in Grenoble in 2008, I think, or six. Can I pick that up? And uh, since then, it's developed. A lot of the uh, PNCs, the Physics Teacher Network people, are doing this as a workshop now. So anywhere in the country, you might come across some of these things. And we're also, each two months in physics education, we're, we're publishing one new idea or old idea with a little bit more explanation. So one that you might have seen, I'm sure you've seen, oops, you can probably hear me, can you? I'll put the television on, so I better keep this on. Um, oh, is the two balloon experiment. But you have one large balloon and one small balloon, and they're connected with a hose pipe connector with, we use now a hose pipe connector with a switch on. And you ask the question, what will happen when we join the two together? Will the big one blow the little one up, or will the little one blow the big one up? And would you like to vote? <coughs> Who says the big one will blow the little one up? No, you've seen it before. <laughs> Who says the little one will blow the big one up? Well, let's just see. And actually, the big one blows the little one up. Ah! <laughs> But actually, how we do it the first time is so the little one blows the big one up, which surprises people. And the explanation is very easy at a sort of lowest level. When is it hardest to blow a balloon up? At the beginning, Mummy, will you start the balloon for me? So it's about pressure, not volume. Um, but of course, you can develop all these things a little bit further. And we went a bit more detail. And this is the pressure against the balloon radius. When you start blowing a balloon up, you have a peak at the beginning, and then the balloon pressure drops. And then at the very end, it goes up again. So you can actually fiddle it to do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> furthermore, if you go on to the next slide, of course, the second time you blow a balloon up, the pressure inside is different again. So that one that I fooled everybody, that you all got wrong at the beginning, I actually had blown the, the smaller, smaller balloon up first and deflated it, so it was at much lower pressure. So that was on the, on the black curve, and the other one was always going to win because that was a new balloon that I'd blown up first. But it's interesting that from a simple experiment, we, we did all these, all these sort of additional experiments. It led to a lot of investigation into balloons. Balloons are fascinating things. So that was, that was one, what happens next. It's a good starter because when the little one blows the big one up, you know, it, people are genuinely shocked.